Hey guys, welcome to Centipede Central Lawn Care. I wanted to do a video today on uh, bug damage, it's particularly in a centipede lawn, but also uh, this particular bug can wreak havoc on other types of grass as well. But I've read that actually its favorite is centipede grass. Um, the bug that I'm talking about isn't grubs. Now, grubs can cause a lot of damage in centipede as well as any other grass type by eating the roots. It's kind of under the soil surface. But this particular bug, I was walking around my lawn uh, about a week ago and noticed these little small forming, it almost looks like foam, little balls of foam or spit that are on the ground, like right at the soil line. And after doing some research and you learn something all the time in lawn care, I didn't know this, maybe some of you did already, uh, but it's called uh, spittle bug. And spittle bug, like I said, its favorite turf grass is centipede. And what this little harmless little cute little bug does is that it actually sucks the nutrients and the water from the grass. Um, and the larva that the, that the adults uh, lay, if you can see here, it actually looks like a little piece of foam um, down here at the kind of the soil line or kind of the crown of the grass. And I've got them kind of all over the place. It's actually in this weak area of my lawn. And so it feels good to actually find a culprit as to what's causing all these problems. But look at this. There's another one. And around this grass, you can see all the faded color. I've got a lot of this uh, spittle bug larva everywhere over here in this particular area of the lawn. So there are a couple ways or several ways you can get rid of this. A bifenthrin is really a product you want to use. And I'm next year, I've really kind of backed off of my pest control in the lawn just to prevent laying down too many chemicals throughout the year. But now that I see this evidence of having some spittle bug uh, damage, I'm really going to up my game as far as pest control goes next season. And really, I've read that spring is when the spittle bugs really go into effect as well as August which is where we are now August September so if you notice those little black bugs hopping around your lawn they're actually kind of cute little bugs they have two orange or orange stripes on their back they're a little black bug with an orange stripe I'll show a picture up um, but if you see those hopping around your yard they don't really fly they kind of just like jump and uh, hop around but those adults will lay that larva, that spit larva, and the little babies are in there just sucking the nutrients out of the grass, at the crown of the grass. It's, it's kind of crazy. And I did not know all this till recently. So now that I'm uh, equipped with this knowledge, we can knock out these spittle bugs and, and hopefully prevent them from causing any more damage. And next year, I'm really gonna up my game and try to apply some pest control to the lawn, probably some bifenthrin once a month or so maybe every six weeks but wanted to pass this knowledge along to you guys and uh, didn't know if you already knew about it or not but it's something good to know because typically you only think of grubs as causing like major damage but these spittle bugs can really wreak some havoc on your lawn so i hope this is helpful um, i use a particular product called tau star p which uh, i'll link to in the description below you basically just use like one ounce uh, per gallon of water uh, per thousand square feet so I have a two gallon uh, hand can I typically fill that thing or I typically use about two to three ounces of the Tau Star and fill up to two gallons and just try to cover um, you know two or three thousand square feet with that and I've even done the hosen sprayer uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll fill up I'll put about three ounces in a hosen sprayer because I can usually cover about two or three thousand square feet by the time it empties and just fill the rest of the hosen sprayer with water and kind of just shake it and, and uh, mix it up well and then just go out over the lawn that way you're you know you're getting really good coverage that's what I like with hosen sprayers you can kind of see your coverage better and it takes less time to do than like a hand can Hopefully your lawn is not infested with spittle bugs this August, but August is the time when they're at their, their most present. And so I just treated this lawn about a week ago with a heavy dose of bifenthrin or Talstar, 
and uh, hopefully we'll start to see these things die off. But if I, you can wipe away this larva uh, to keep the, if the, if the little babies in there are not already dead, you can go ahead and just wipe it off and, and probably get a glove on and, and take it off and just keep it from uh, doing any more harm to the lawn. But that is a huge piece of advice and the fact that centipede is its favorite grass, just be careful out there. It also likes zoysia. So implementing a good pest control plan into your lawn care program is very beneficial. Uh, so wish you guys luck out there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.